front of you. Let's have you look at the first three problems and uh, let me know. Let me know your answer when you're all done here with these. Um, number one is 23, number two is 17, number three is 10, negative 10, sorry. Okay. You, you've had a, at least one quiz because this is unit two quiz. I'm guessing you had a unit one quiz. Uh, was unit your one unit test? Okay. Was your unit one test the, like, was it the same as the review? Like, how similar were they? Fairly similar. Like, okay. Pretty much exactly the same. It's not like the same questions. Okay. So for uh, for number four, five, and six, we had talked about the idea that you 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 want to simplify first and then make a decision, like like figure out what number you know, mm -hmm. bring these numbers down, bring these results down, bring bring the results down, and then make a decision. You may find it's also useful to look at those number lines. So sometimes on the test, you want to look for other things that can help you, like on this number line here, mm -hmm. if you're ever unsure. So go ahead and. Uh, Work with that. Let me know what you come up with. So number four, I got the greater than symbol, I think. Is this the symbol he yes, wrote? Yes, that's the symbol. Okay. And the next one, I got the less than. Okay, agreed. And the next one, I've got the less than. all right good job so for numbers seven eight and nine do you know if you're supposed to use the number line um we don't um i think so because it just says use the number line to find the sum okay i don't really know how you guys have been doing that in class i tend to draw arrows but what do you guys what have you guys been doing to uh yeah she's do? been drawing arrows like that So. so I'm more interested because long term, I'm what I'm interested in is like, can you, can you uh, give me the results? So I'm, I'm just, I guess, do whatever your teacher wants you to do for the the number line, but I'm interested in the correct result here. Mm -hmm. So. Negative two. Next one. Negative seven or negative five? Negative seven, right? So there's one positive, one negative. Oh, so which is so it's going to be negative five. Yes. And it's like you're going back six and then, and then negative right six. one. Right one. The negative six, the next one. Yep, agreed. Okay, good. Really good. Uh, let's grab. So the the red and yellow um, chips. Uh, do you get up colored pencils, or what do you get on the test? To... Um, I believe so. I'm not sure, but okay. I'll just. I know how to do those really well. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm more again more interested in like the results here than mm -hmm. than this, but that that is important to do what they want. So it would be. Um. Positive um, 
too. I'm sorry, you, you said the answer is two for this one? Yeah. Okay, like like without getting into like red and yellow, we can just use like different, like yeah. circle for seven. And then you're taking away four of them. Oh, oh three. Yeah, not I, I don't really know how you came up with two, but um this this is a simpler simpler way to do it. Okay. Um but it's not the red and yellow. So that's why I don't want to like jump in and give you yeah. stuff. I mean I, don't, I mean I do like what they're doing here. They they've some some really cool manipulatives in classrooms, but the negative's the same way. You could just you can just say, Well, I've got negative two and I've got four more. Okay. And then for like negative three, you can say, all right, that's negative three. And then I'm taking two away. So negative six. Next one. Three, two, negative one. Good, good. All right, uh, thirteen through twenty. Why don't you give me the answers as you go? Okay. Actually, let's just do uh, sorry, let's do 13 through 16 first. 13 through um, six. Okay. So just give me your answer as you go in case this okay. case there's an issue. Don't look at. Negative 13. Good. Five. Negative four. Negative 18. Okay. One T. For which one? 20. For 16? 16. Yeah. What was 15? I didn't hear. I'm sorry. Oh, 15 was uh, negative 18. All right. Good job on all those. Okay. So 17 through 20 next. Seven. Negative sixteen. Okay. Good. You're either going to add or subtract the numbers okay. without the signs. Yeah. You know? So, like, like you did the right thing there. You're doing thirty-seven minus twenty-one. You already knew the answer was negative. Yeah. You know, so then here the. One... Sorry. Good. That's when I was going to say it was negative 58. Yep, you're adding the numbers. 
keeping the sign. Keep going. Thirty-nine. Good. Negative forty. Yes. Really good. All right. Next grouping of problems is uh, finding the difference. I think you were switching the. Yeah, it was a key change change. So is what you're saying. I guess if you like. Yeah, negative there, nine, it, change it to a positive plus. So yeah. Yeah, it's up to you. I mean, I I don't uh mm -hmm. doesn't matter to me anymore. Um but you should do what you like here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for twenty one is thirteen, negative thirteen. Good. Um for 22 is negative 4. For 23 is negative 7. Good. And then for 24 is 11. Good. All right, try the next uh, grouping of questions. Okay. Negative 14. Good. Zero. Negative eight, 15. Good. Okay. Great. So you, you, you're definitely able to do this. Um, so for, we've not talked at all about how to do problems like 29 through 36, but I hope in class, you talked about that when you multiply, if they're same sign, it becomes positive. If they're both negative, it still becomes positive. Yeah, you were just talking and about that. And then one positive and one negative becomes negative. One negative and one positive becomes negative. And it's the same rules for division. Okay. So. So if you have one, if they're both positive, it's positive. They're both negative, it's positive. But if there's okay. one of each, yeah. it's negative. We did that. And that's right. it. That's it. Now, there, there are some other rules here we'll get to with 37, 38. But let's, uh, let's have you try 29 through 32 okay. first. Six times negative one. So positive and negative. So it'll be... Um, negative, right? The positive and negative would equal negative, and put so negative six. Good. Um, positive and negative. Okay, so um, is negative twenty-eight. Okay. And then this one negative and a negative. So it's twenty. Okay, good. And that's negative seventy two. All right, why don't you try the next uh, grouping of questions? It's divisions. Same rules, just uh, dividing. Just dividing, yeah. So, negative 32 plus five. Okay. Negative six. Um, um, 
So the the answer is negative. I mean, one yeah, positive. Yeah, I know that. That's so so I mean, negative this just comes. Yeah, this just comes down to do you remember your you know yeah. multiplication division? Yeah. Next okay. one is thirty-two divided by four, so four divided by thirty-two. I'm sorry. Wait. So four divided by thirty-two, right? No, no, the other way. Thirty-two oh. divided by four. Okay. Well, that's eight. But it's like that's right. Oh, I thought I thought it was a positive. I thought the division said it was a positive. And I was like, right. but um. Okay. So it's just eight. All right, so uh, to do to do 37 and 38, you need a little bit of information. If you have a negative one to an even power, it's always it's going one. To be, well, yeah, it's always going to be one. If it's odd, it's going to be a negative one. Yeah, right. we, we did that. Awesome. So right. it's going to be one, negative one, and then the next Good. 39. Good. So try it, 39 and 40. Okay, so... Two times three, which is six times two, is twelve. Yep. That's so it. That would it be negative twelve? Well, you just said it. What, two is what, are, what are those? Don't forget, forget about two. What is negative two times negative three? It's going to be negative six, but it would just be no, six. No, no, no. It's, it's negative two times negative three. What is the result of that? Six. Six times two. So you, so you bring the result down, bring it down. But I'm asking if it'd be, I know if it would be um, 6 times 2 is 12, but would it be negative 12? Because the times 2 is positive. You've already, so you, you're you're trying to apply a rule that doesn't apply. Like you've already handled the negatives when you multiply them together here. Oh, okay. Like, like this problem is reduced to this problem. Okay. Now, if you want a better answer, you... Count the number of negatives. How many negatives do you see? Two. So if you have an even number of negatives, that means it's going to be positive. If you have an odd number of negatives, it's going to be negative. I don't okay. like rules like this, but that is that is the... Uh, so that is... If, even if it was like negative three times negative three times negative three, it would be negative. Yes. Whatever. But yeah. Okay. Right, right. But there's. But let's just look at that because that's that's there's there's a couple okay. of ways to do it. One is like you just did is figure out well is the result negative or positive and then and then multiply three times three okay. times three, or you can say okay that's nine times negative three, one positive one negative. Okay. Like that. So negative three times fourteen is going to be negative. Um, so three teen is going to be so negative forty two times zero. Right. So what is the final answer? Zero. So, which is zero. And then zero times 81 is zero. So if you have a zero anywhere, it's going to be zero when you're multiplying. Okay. Okay. Good job. Let me give you a couple, well, yeah, let me give you a couple more here. Okay, could you give that a try, please? Uh, okay. Um, so.
24. 24. Yes. Good. Okay. So one of the things you should notice about these previous problems that did you say all the numbers were in parentheses? Yeah. Okay. Really That's important. What's that? Because it's not another way of, mul of multiplication. They're trying to multiply. Yeah. Yeah, it's it shows multiplication, but when you're doing a problem like the, the next ones here, when you're substituting variables for variables, it's really good to actually visualize this as actually being this x in parentheses y in parentheses over z in parentheses. Okay. So this would be two, negative. I know, but negative yeah, five. Yeah. And but wouldn't it be it will help with signs? Go ahead. Negative. Or it wouldn't be just negative 10 over negative 10, which would yes. be, would that be one whole? Yes. Yeah, it's a negative, okay. So I, I recommend you do that, even when you don't think you need to do that, it will help you a ton. So for like 42, I would treat it like it's, like the mm -hmm. X and Y were in parentheses. Mm -hmm. Trying to grab the snips here. Two. Two. I would treat as two times x minus two times y. Okay. So, but two times two minus two minus nine, or sorry, two times two minus two times negative five. So, okay. just start out with um, two times two is four minus two times negative five plus so negative 10 minus four is negative six. So you uh, said, what you said is different than what it, the way it's written. I mean, the order matters here. Two times negative five is negative 10. The four yeah. has to come first. Four minus a minus 10. Yeah, I, that's what I put on my paper. I just didn't say it right. Okay, now the double negative, what, uh, what happens yeah. with the double negative? Why, is it, why would it be a double negative? Well, this comes from here. The negative comes from these two. But if you were confused, because if you were following like things where what we were doing in class which was to keep change and change, you would change that to a positive and that to a positive, which is 4 plus 10, which is 14. Yes, yes, it is 4 plus 10. Oh, okay. So you said you, you said negative six. So I, I was going off off of that, which which uh Okay. So fourteen. All right, good. Try uh forty three, please. Again, really important to put those variables in parentheses. So I'll show okay. that here again. It should be y squared plus z. Okay. Okay. So negative five times negative five, negative, it would be 25. So then 25 plus negative 10. Which would be 15. All right, so that last one is y minus z. That would be negative five minus negative 10. So I keep change, change, five. Good. Okay. Out of all the questions that we did, do you have some that you like? Like, which ones do you think you need more practice on? Um, probably. Uh, well, I'm feeling pretty confident about these ones. Just like in general, I'm just feeling pretty confident. Okay, I think we should do more like 41 through 44, kind of. Sure. Okay. But uh, it's up to you. Let me throw a few in. Yeah, I mean, so let's do, uh, let's say that A is a negative one, B is 
negative four and C is negative eight. So okay. let's go A times B minus C. Negative one. Four minus negative H. So negative one times four is going to be four. Four minus negative eight, which will be changed, change. Four plus eight is 12. Good, good. I heard some things I didn't like, but you were, you were spot on with uh, okay. your actual, your actual, uh, result here so and, and everything you like i'm sure what you wrote was correct now let's do the same problem same numbers but let's go in reverse let's see uh let's see what happens here if when you go the other direction let's do a c minus a times b H negative eight minus negative one times negative four. Negative seven. Negative four, then seven times four is eight. So that would be twenty-eight. So equals twenty-eight. Uh, C is minus eight. What are they? Negative one. And B? Negative four. Okay. You have to multiply. I guess maybe you guys didn't cover that. Interesting. Um, yeah, you have to multiply first. Oh. I apologize. You guys aren't doing this yet. You're you're almost to order of operations, but you're not quite there. Okay. It's okay. So negative four. Try again. Oh. Yeah. Oh. They're both negative. So negative 12. Yes. Yeah. Let's try another one here. Let's go uh, A times C over B. Negative 
So negative four. So negative two. Good. Okay. Uh, anything else you want us to cover tonight? No, I don't think that's it. Okay. Well, I would say you're in really good shape. I I don't even know that I would suggest anything. I mean, you did. Let me go ahead and stop the recording.